All right, IED, we're going to do activity 2.1.2, hold it together. The last activity, 2.1.1, Tolerate This, had a crap ton of stuff inside of it. And this one also has a crap ton of stuff inside of it as well. But the difference is we're going to be looking up this information individually and then compiling it all together into one. So I know a lot of people are looking at this digitally from other different classes. So I'm going to tell you how I do it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to split this up by letters of the alphabet. So I know with my class, we're going to be looking at different ways to hold things together. And they basically fall into five rough categories, adhesives, fasteners, joinery, snap fit joints, and threads. Each one of these has their own handout that goes with it in the Project Lead the Way website. And if you are, uh, if your last name begins with A, B, C, D or E, you're going to do the adhesives. If your last name is with F, G, H, uh, let's see, I or J, <laughs> this is hard to do, you're going to be doing the fasteners. Uh, if your joinery, uh, you're going to be doing, or sorry, if your last name is K, L, M, N, and O, uh, you're going to be doing joinery. And if your last name is P, Q, R, S, T, you're going to be doing snap fit joints. And if you're anything from uh, U and above, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, you're going to be doing the threads handout. So you'll only be responsible for one of these five for this activity. And let's just, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the adhesives one just to kind of show what's going on and what you're going to be responsible for. I think in general, because uh, it says that you're going to make a resource uh, that all of the students can use in order to be able to um, come back to and reference on what to do uh, and which one of these adhesives might be the best one to go with or threads or fasteners or anything like that, depending on that. That way we don't have to look up every single one of these. This is kind of a divide and conquer mentality. So. Uh, I think like a Google slide or a Prezi or or maybe even just a Google Doc would be uh, fantastic. That way that it can just be clicked on and people can just come in and reference it. And you're gathering your own information about this stuff. So it gives you specifics about which ones you need to look up. And you have to ask yourself these six questions about every single one of these. So if you're looking at superglue or a cyanoacrylate, uh, you would be asking yourself, what is the adhesive made of? How does it work? What materials does it bond well with? Advantages? Are there any disadvantages? The answer is yes, there are disadvantages. And some common uses. Um, and then you're going to do the hot melt glue, which is just basically hot glue. And then you're going to ask yourself the same six questions. What is this adhesive made of? How does it work? What materials does it bond well with? Advantages, disadvantages, and common uses. And just run that through. So that's six uh, categories and six questions and my little math brain is coming up with looks like we have to come up with about 36 pieces of information because that's going to be six times six so it's you know but whenever you look them up on google it's not too terribly bad uh it's not nearly as long as the tolerate this assignment so I really don't think this needs much more explanation than what i've already given you guys um if you have any questions let me know if uh you know, if you need assistance on like information to gather, but I'm pretty sure these materials are common enough that you can find them online very easily. So have a great day. Uh, enjoy looking up all of the different things and we'll have a resource to come back to together. And I will talk with you guys later.